Welcome to give him my call. Uh, what's your name? Helen Hughes. What? <coughs> Helen Hughes. What? I can't hear. Helen Hughes. Today I have no real explanation. I just know I went to the library and I was there. I was already there for a while. I was not searching for a specific book. I was just uh, strolling around and suddenly I saw this book. It was on the shelf and it had a, a red cover. So I took, I grabbed the, the book and I, I quickly went through the book. First I had a look at the cover and there was a small photograph on the, on the left side. And it showed uh, the, the picture of a woman, an elderly woman, maybe around her 40s, something like this. And she had a, she looked familiar, but faintly familiar, not really it's like someone I knew. There was just something in her eyes that made me, I don't know, wonder. So I took the book and I went through the book and there were more photographs and there was text and just went through the pages. And in the very end, there was a, a summarization, and I could read biographical details. Mm -hmm. And these details I knew from the paperwork surrounding from my adoption. So when I, when I saw this, somehow, um, I don't know what happens in the brain, I'm not a, a brain specialist, but mm -hmm. it became clear to me, this must be a book, a very special book, and it was a book about my biological family that I haven't seen, or my mother I haven't seen for many, many, many years, and no one told me. Engineer. Yes, my name is Diana Reiter. I'm a graduate of civil engineering from the University of Milan. Oh, I'm educated too, like Karl Marx himself. Unter Schafjahre. Jawohl. Schut, Herr. Was? Herr Kommandant! I'm only trying to do my job. Yeah, I'm doing mine. Sir, she's foreman of construction. We're not going to have arguments with these people. Well... Oh, Schut, Herr! Here, on my authority. <laughs> It will take more than that. I'm sure you're right. It's not just, it's your story, of course, but it's also the story of other people so very close to you in your life, like your grandmother. Tell us a little bit more about her, because she seems to be an incredibly complex character. She's very complex, and she was, uh, she's a person who was in my childhood, someone I knew. So when I found out about my grandfather, this was, uh, was of course, uh, something very distressing. But the thing that disturbed me more was the figure of my grandfather, grandmother. I, I told you before that I was, uh, was adopted. And the circumstances in my um, childhood were not so... Let's say it this way, it wasn't a safe surrounding for children. My mother was together with a, with a man who did beat her. And so my grandmother was a, a woman for me who provided me with a safe surrounding. And she was someone who not only liked me, but who, when I came and she opened the door, uh, there was a smile on her face and on my face. So this is uh, what I could remember of my grandmother. And when I read the book and I found out all the other things and I suddenly uh, got to know a different side of her. Mm -hmm. It was not, uh, no, that I didn't know before. So it was almost, uh, yeah, also <laughs> impossible to deal with this. 
And it took me a long time somehow to find a solution how to, to, yeah, how to integrate this into my life. Mm. And one way that you did that was actually... Okay. Still nobody knows. You. You committed this crime. No, sir. But you know who, though? Yes. Who? Him! The, 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 the word that is conventionally used to describe somebody like Armand Gert is evil. Very many people would use that word to explain his pathology, his behaviour. Is that a is that a term that you would use as well? That you is that an explanation for what happened? I think there's a lot of evil in my grandfather, but I don't think that evil exists like the pure evil. I think when you look at uh, people, everyone was born with the he was born blank. So people become the way they are by many influences. And my grandfather was, of course, someone who was, especially through the film, a symbol of evil. But mankind is not, you can't divide mankind in evil and good. With my grandfather, it's quite uh, easy because there's so much evil one can see. With my grandmother, because you asked me about her mm. before, it's less, uh, it's less, it's less obvious because she had different sides. She was, um, she was not killing herself, but she was closing her eyes. So she, here you can see there's evil and there is some good. She did some good things as well mm. I mean, with me, well, you, but your also... Your grandmother was an extraordinary mixture of things because she, she, she was perhaps an opportunist who profited from uh, Armand Goetz's uh, status in the Nazi time. At the same time, though, in the, in the post-war period, for example, I know that she was, she was an admirer of Willy Brandt, the Social mm -hmm. Democrat Chancellor. She had, sort of, she had liberal sentiments in her. How do you explain that? I, I don't really know. It's also striking because my father is Nigerian mm -hmm. and my father was a friend of someone who was living with my grandmother. She, was, uh, she had a, a, someone who was renting out an, a room in her apartment because she needed probably uh, to share the apartment because she needed the mummy, which, money at this time. That was extraordinary as yeah, well for the time. Yeah, for yeah. this time. Yeah. My, my father with dark skin, mm -hmm. I mean, with thinking that my mother, my grandmother must have been a racist. This is, uh, this does not really fit. Mm. And she was also, she also had someone living in the household who was homosexual. At this time, it was not only forbidden, mm -hmm. it was uh, something you could go to jail for. It was illegal. Yeah, it was yeah. In, the, in the 1970s. Yeah. So she, she, in her personality, you see um, how, how people are. They have good sides and they have bad sides. And with my grandfather, I think the bad sides, they're so obvious that, yeah, there is some evil. But I think he's, uh, he's maybe, one could also define him as a psychopath. An another extraordinary... ...that just be the good aspects of him, which <laughs> is a wonderful crook. A man who loves good food, good wine, the ladies, making money. Killing. He can't enjoy it. Bajewski told me the other day somebody escaped from a work detail outside the wire. Gert lined up everybody from the missing command's barracks. He shot the man to the left of Bajewski, the man to the right of him. He walked down the line shooting every other man with a pistol. Twenty-five.
question. We always have a quiz at the end of the show, and I didn't want to have a quiz today. I just wanted to ask you one question, which always strikes me as so important. Do we learn from history, or do we continue making the same mistakes? I hope we learn from history, but reality shows that we still have to learn a lot, and we are doing the mistakes over and over and over again. I would like so much to reach out and touch you in your loneliness. What, what, would, that, what would that be like, I wonder? I mean, <laughs> what would be wrong with that? Is this the face of a rat? Are these the eyes of a rat? Hath not a Jew eyes? I feel for you, Helen. Jewish bitch. You nearly talked me into it, you know. didn't you?